Let's talk about the alveolar tap. Uh, the IPA symbol for it is, uh, it looks like a lowercase r minus the serif. Um, and this is an allophone of t and d in American English. Uh, it occurs when either one of those phonemes uh, are between two vowels and the preceding vowel is stressed. So if I said water, um, the t is between two vowels and the stress is on the preceding syllable, water. And so you can hear that that t sound uh, is being made with the tongue striking the alveolar ridge and it sounds more D-like. Um, it isn't a D though. Um, it uh, sounds like a D, uh, but it isn't a D. It's a T that sounds like a D. Um, and it's this alveolar tap. Um, it picks up a little voicing from the vowels, um, but um, it's not water. Uh, it's not a full uh, D phoneme. It can occur also when um, the preceding vowel is R colored like party. Um, it can occur when the following um, vowel isn't a vowel, but it's really a syllabic L, like bottle, bottle. Um, it won't happen when the stress moves to the following vowel. So if I said maternal, we have a T between two vowels but the following vowel is stressed, maternal. And you can hear that that sounds very different. So um, the alveolar tap is very predictable in its um, distribution. It will be between two vowels with the first one stressed. It can also happen um, with a D phoneme, uh, as in ladder. Um, and there we have uh, a D produce really rapidly ladder. Um, so you can transcribe them in broad transcription. We sometimes transcribe them just as the underlying phoneme. So uh, later could be transcribed with uh, a lowercase t to show the underlying phoneme. Or it could be more precisely uh, transcribed with the alveolar tap uh, later. Um, but we would not transcribe that as later with a, a lowercase d uh, because it's not that. Um, so I hope this shed some light on the alveolar tap um, and where you can find it. Hope that helps.